This is the definition of a mental illness. You lost 20 pounds because you fasted. Now you want to gain those pounds back. Why? Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you wanted me to react to Be Thyself with his video What I Eat in a Week After a 30 Day Fast. Let's have a look. Peace, you're now rocking Peace. with Be From Be Thyself. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And Thank if you're you. New, Thank you for tuning in. First red flag, he's wearing a Becoming God shirt. This is not really a surprise to me. Fasting, raw veganism, false spirituality go hand in hand. Let's see what he has to say. Thank you for tuning in. Oftentimes here on the channel, I share the benefits of fasting. I have to interrupt it again. So we can read here, search Becoming God tier, fast, Dr. Sebi inspired. Shocker. Blacks in America have been absolutely duped by the false teachings of Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi was a quack that preached an alkaline quote-unquote diet that ultimately leads to your own deterioration. But not as often do I share how I break my fast. I feel how you break your fast is just as important if not more than the fast itself. Why is a fast important? Can you explain that? It is as if I'm being reborn into this world and with that perspective, you got to think about how children are birthed. The buildup okay. with the foods that they eat, they start with breast milk yeah and then from there it may be fruit purees then they build up so as a raw vegan you conveniently skip the part of drinking milk <laughs> and you go straight to the fruit puree i have a son he's seven months old he's breastfeeding and he absolutely hates fruits i tried giving him some banana at first it worked but now he's eating only meat he absolutely loves it chicken thighs steak tata and whatnot Kids love meat. The solid foods. We do that and so babies can avoid constipation, bloating. It can be very painful for them to get that waste out. Yes, and now tell me what constipates you. Not the fiber. Same ideology when I complete a fast. I mean... <laughs> you breastfeed after the fast? It could be very detrimental to you. It could even be possible to lose your life if you go on a long extended fast and go straight to solid foods. It's as if you gave your digestive system a month's worth of vacation and then you just slap the pile of work for it to do. Don't do that. But why would you do that in the first place? Honestly, think about it. Why would you get rid of your microbiome? It is absolute self-destruction and it follows veganism. The first step is to cut out all the nourishing animal foods. Next step is to cut out even more plants to go raw vegan. Then the next step is fruitarian, then fasting, so on and so forth. The origin is veganism. Veganism is the doctrine of the devils. Look it up. The truth of the matter is after the fast, you're still fasting. With that being said, I wanted to share <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my process, what wow. I eat in a week uh, upon breaking a long extended fast. For myself, days one through three, I focus primarily on smoothies and fruit juices with a high fiber content. I made a berry smoothie, which consists Amazing. of strawberries, blackberries, wild blueberries, and a base of pear and ginger juice. <laughs> So essentially you just have sugar and vitamin C. How will you nourish your body with this? You won't. This is why you're terribly skinny. Anybody can see that. Wow. Super fire. If you haven't tried it, you have to. To make my what? own pear juice, I use the Kuvings juicer. I don't juicer. want to. It does a great job at extracting the juice and excluding the pulp. I'll have an affiliate link in the description box if you are interested. All the plants are man-made. Those strawberries, those blueberries, everything that you're eating there is manufactured. Most of them are seedless. They are seedless, sterile clones. So you take that fruit, you put it in a blender, you put it in a juicer, and you extract the sugar. Why? In the Kuvings juicer. If I'm able to splurge, I got a little bit of cash flow. I'm on a hunt for some soursop, make a nice soursop juice. This isn't it. Oh, that explains why. Is this sour sauce? What? Tamarind juice is also in a lineup for days one through three. What's great about all these juices is that it has 
a nice amount of fiber and it's like a wake-up call for your digestive it's absolutely ridiculous you don't know what you're talking about you just extracted all the fiber those juices have almost no fiber if you really wanted the fiber you would eat the whole fruit what's the point man system same wow it's about that time to get back to work days four through six i'm in my raw foods only mindset but the focus for me is you know fruits and vegetables with a high water content high water content foods are easier to digest and still providing the proper hydration that your body may have been used to while fasting i focus on the berries those you can typically find all year round cantaloupe <sighs> Avocado. As I said already, man, the black people have been duped by Dr. Sebi, but by other movements as well. You can see the product here. Those people really believe that the white man tricked them into eating meat. Man, really look into your ancestors. Look into healthy Africans. What do they eat? They eat raw meat. They drink blood. You're malnourishing yourself with modified Western fruit. Well, I found you get this. Option. Take it from me. I've lost nearly 20 pounds while fasting. <laughs> Avocados are gonna help put back on some of that weight. This is the definition of a mental illness. You lost 20 pounds because you fasted. Now you wanna gain those pounds back. Why? Why do you play this back and forth yo-yo game? Why? An avocado won't put on anything because avocado has no protein. It is impossible to build any muscle with avocado. So what will you put on? It's gonna be healthy weight, you know? It's gonna look mean the bah, bah. once you start working out it's gonna look good the nutrients and fat <laughs> yeah good. it's looking real good bah, bah. once you start pow, working pow. out it's gonna look good the nutrients Dirt. and fat also is a great support for the brain <laughs> i see man fat yes is great for the brain because it has the fat soluble vitamins however in avocado you have plant oils and you have no fat soluble vitamins in that avocado do you think you're going to find vitamin A, vitamin D3? Keep looking. For foods that are in season and grown locally, but here in Pittsburgh around October, November, you know, you get into those colder months, it's, it's more difficult to do. Day six, I yeah. focus on the leafy greens. By this time, my digestive system should be more than ready to break down tougher foods, watercress, mustard greens, romaine lettuce so you do understand that those foods are tougher to digest why don't you try raw meat and see how that digests um you know that they have different varieties green leaf red leaf lettuce the cucumbers the zucchini you can eat them individually but what i like to do is make a fire salad and of course i got the <laughs> fire for your butthole to check that out if you haven't because it's it's amazing at least I think so. Day seven, yeah. I'm good to go back to cook foods if I so please. And when I do lean towards cook foods, I focus on smaller grains. Fanio, really great. My favorite grain. You know, my family doesn't like it as much as I do, but... Do you understand that grains are absolute slave food? Look into it. Look who really ate the grains. Do you think kings and conquerors, emperors were eating grains? Look into it. For me, quinoa Just saying. is still a great option. Uh, teff is probably my second favorite grain. All of these grains are very tiny, but they have a lot of nutrients, a lot of mineral True. ratio within them. <laughs> I also introduce nuts and seeds as well. Hemp seeds, walnuts, Brazil nuts. It's very important that when you do- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, if you're really looking for nutrients, why wouldn't you eat liver? Tell me. Work with nuts, grains. You're already juicing, so you want to get rid of the fiber. Liver has no fiber. You want to have more nutrients. Liver has the most nutrients on the planet. Why not eat it? Seeds that Can you, you allow them to soak in water for some time. You know, me personally, I, I soak them anywhere from four hours or more, depending on what yeah. grain it is. It's great to do so not only for digestion, but studies say that it also helps to release its nutrients that it has for you to be able to absorb it yeah it releases the nutrients it releases anti-nutrients it releases nutrients it gets rid of everything that is in it do you understand that it has even less nutritional content properly and it's back to schedule programming you see when i first started fasting i didn't think much about how to break it so there were times where I didn't break it properly, you know, after completing like a seven Why do you day, fast so much? 10 day, 30 day fast, I would go straight to grains, 
cooked foods. It could be very painful if you're doing a number two. I'm talking on the floor, holding your stomach. Like, ah, ah. Those are hard wow. lessons learned. How you break your fast <laughs> is <learned>. very important. <laughs> so um, make sure you put that in your outline as well. Yeah. It's a huge part of your outline for successful fasting. So that's all we have for today's video. All right, all right, and this is it for today's video. Let me elaborate quickly. I was a vegan myself for four years. I was a raw vegan as well, and I did the fasting too. So I'm not mocking you here. I come from a place of experience myself. Ultimately, I wrecked my health. And this is why I run this channel, to help people avoid the same mistakes, to not go down the same path of destroying their own body and in the end being left with no purpose and no physical health. This is where I see you headed. With the Becoming God shirt, you believe that you're the master of your own reality. You're actualizing yourself and you figured out this matrix. You know how to navigate but in reality you're completely misled even if you wouldn't believe in god and you would simply believe in evolution then at least you might be able to figure out what we are supposed to eat if you look into the nutritional digestive track of a human being that is i'm sure that you know that the body and mind are connected when you're malnourishing your body when you're weakening your body you suffer spiritually as well and this is what we see here the physical degradation has led to spiritual delusion you are your own god you call yourself be thyself this is obviously a biblical reference but look into the bible and see what the real sin is what is the first commandment you shouldn't have any gods before me this is the greatest sin of them all to play god but the beauty is god will let you do it now you are your own god you have your destiny in your hands. Good luck. All right, guys. And this is it. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.